Hi, I'm Ray. Welcome to Velveteen Habit. This channel's for you if you wish your bestie was a makeup professor. Today, I'm going to show you how to create this halo eye using the Kaleidos Flower Punk Eyeshadow Palette and six easy steps. To create this look, you'll need an eyeshadow primer. I'll be using the Kaleidos Tone Activator Eyeshadow Primer, three eyeshadows, a matte light color, a matte deeper color, and a duochrome shade. I'll be using the Kaleidos Flower Punk Eyeshadow Palette for all shades. You'll also need a black pencil liner and a mascara. So if you wanna learn how to create this look, keep watching. Step one is eye primer. I'm using the Kaleidos Tone Activator Eye Primer. I squirted a small amount onto my finger and then I'm softly blending it into the eye with my fingertips. Just kind of patting it in, making sure we fully cover the lid. And you can bring it underneath the eye and into the inner corner as well to help that shadow stick. Step two, use a light matte shade with a fluffy brush, sweep through the crease and under the eye. So I'm going to be using my Flower Punk collection from Kaleidos today. So this is the Flower Punk eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to use the shade Peach Soju and my Ruffer 01 brush, so fluffy brush. I'm gonna just tap off the excess. Sweep that color through the crease. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squish the fluffy brush and bring that color underneath the eye as well. All right, so by squishing the brush, I'm just making it smaller. All right, so we've got that down as our base on that eye. Same thing on the other side. Squishing the brush again to go underneath the eye to keep it from getting too thick. Okay. So the look that I'm doing today is inspired heavily by a look done by Patty Alonzo that I just thought was stunning. So I'll link her video if you'd like to see someone else try a very similar look. Step three, we're gonna apply a darker matte shade to the inner and outer corners of the eye and also line underneath the eye with it. I'm going to be using the shade Nouveau. I'm continuing with that same Ruffer 01 fluffy brush, dipping into that deeper shade, and I'm going to apply it to the outer third of the eye Pull it up into the crease just a little bit, but keeping it just on that outer third of the eye. I'm just going back in one more time to deepen that shape. All right, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. Just keeping it right on that outer third and dipping in one more time to deepen. All right, and then I'm gonna wipe the excess off of the brush and just blend those edges a little bit to keep everything very well blended. Okay. I'm going to continue with that same brush, same color, and this time I'm going to apply it to the inner corner of the eye, the inner third. Right. Applying to the inner third. Okay, looking good. Just doing a little blending. 
I'm now going to switch brushes and use a small pencil brush, the Refer 03, in that same shade and bring that color underneath the eye. So keeping it very close to the lash line, I'm just sweeping it all the way across underneath the eye. Same thing on the other side. Step four, use your ring finger to tap a duochrome color over the center of the lid. I'm going to use the shade Aloe Cove, which is this greenish one in this palette. All right, so I'm putting that on my ring finger and tapping it right into the center of the lid, then moving to a clean finger and tapping over the edges. Then using the finger with more color again, without re-dipping, intensify and get it how I want it. All right, doing the same thing on the other side. So again, dipping my ring finger into the color, patting onto the center of the lid, and then using a clean finger and kind of switching back and forth between the finger with the color and the finger without to pat out the edges and create that halo shape. This step has a little bonus piece. What I'm going to do next is go into the stained glass color, so the other duochrome in this palette, and I'm going to tap that right onto the center. And I just love those two colors layered on top of each other, which I wouldn't have thought to do. So thank you, Patty Alonzo. But they just look stunning mixed together. Step five, use a small brush to apply the duochrome shade to the inner corners of the eyes. I'm actually going to apply both of the duochrome shades because I want them to be mixed together to the inner corners of my eyes. So I'm going to start with Aloe Cove and just apply a little bit in the inner corner. And then I'm going to dip into stained glass and just apply that right over the top so that they'll mix together on my eye. Step six, finishing touches. For step six, I'm going to line the eyes with a black pencil liner. I'm using the 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Zero from Urban Decay. And I'm going to apply that color to my inner waterline on both the bottom and top of the eye. Now that the liner's on, we will apply mascara. I'm going to use my Thrive Liquid Lash Extensions in the shade Brim. When I do a halo eye, I like to focus the mascara on the center of the eye rather than the outer corner, which I do sometimes for more of a cat eye shape. So what I wanna do is really focus on building up that color right in the center of the eye. How do I make the lash face? Oh dear. My lashes are too long and they left a little mess up there. I'm going to have to clean up. It happens. So when that happens, don't clean it up right away. Let it sit so that it's easy to scrape off. Scrape was not a good choice of word. <laughs> Brush off. And we'll just deal with it at the end. Oh, 
I think my lashes are getting longer from using this one. Oh, and I just made a huge mess on this side too. All right, well, that's okay. It's okay, it happens to the best of us. What I'm gonna do is clean off one of my little pencil brushes and then I'm just gonna brush away the mascara that has gotten places I don't want it with that little pencil brush. on each eye. Okay. All right, the eyes are done. So now I'm gonna add highlighter and lips. I'm going to use this stained glass eyeshadow color as my highlighter today. So I'm dipping in with a fluffy brush and I'm going to softly apply to the tops of the cheekbones. This color makes a stunning highlighter. Ugh, it's so pretty. So pretty. Like I wasn't expecting it to be as pretty as it is. Look how pretty that is. All right, and I'm going to apply a little bit of that highlighter to the brow bone. I probably should use a smaller brush, but it's okay. And a little bit of highlighter here. I'm kind of sweaty. Okay. A little bit of highlighter down the center of the face. Last thing to finish off the look is the lips. And today is my sixth look using the Kaleidos Lippies. I'm using one of the lippies in this collection each day for eight days. So day six, I'm going to be using the shade Dune. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the color Dune to my lips. Using the point of the applicator for precision at the edges. Okay, and then I'm going to grab my Persona lip liner in the shade Dusk and just go over the edges. All right, same on the top. Okay, now I'm going to apply my Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Moon. All over the lips. And then I'm going to kind of recreate that same idea of the halo on my lips as well. So what I'm going to do is dip a clean finger into that stained glass color that I'm wearing as a highlighter and on the eye. So I'm dipping my finger back into that color and I'm gonna just pat that right on the center of the lips. And then with a clean finger kind of tap it out. So it's just in the center. Yeah, so that stained glass color works nicely on the eyes, on the cheeks, and on the lips. All right, I'm gonna give myself a little spritz of my Scandinavia setting spray. And just tap over that with a beauty sponge. 
And that's the completed look. Now you know how to do a halo eye in six easy steps. I hope you'll tune in to my next two videos where I finish up the Kaleidos Flower Punk collection and wear the last two lippies, which are my two favorite in the collection. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Bye.